ABFIA Formula E debutant Felipe Nasser says his Mexico City race was compromised by awful handling issues resulting from an early clash with NIO's Oliver Turvey. Nasser was competing in his first race for Dragon in Mexico and had only completed simulator work before arriving at the circuit, but he quickly impressed by outqualifying his experienced FE teammate Jose Maria Lopez by 0.083 seconds. In the race, Nasser was caught up in opening lap mid-pack battles through the long braking zone of Turn 1 and the slow Turn 3 chicane. Nasser attempted to use his first attack mode on lap 3 but as he entered Turn 8 offline, Turvey hit the rear of the Dragon car and forced Nasser into a spin. The Brazilian, who went on to finish 19th, told Autosport, I was able to hold position and it was a pretty messy turn 1 and 3 with all the cars cutting the chicane or whatever, I was able to go through it and everything was looking fine, I followed the train, at lap 3 I wanted to activate the attack mode and I got hit from behind by Turvey and that completely damaged the rear of the car, the suspension, the diffuser, the floor, the team wanted me to complete the race which I think was positive from this. Side, I had no experience coming here this weekend, I needed the laps, I'd only done a simulator coming here before, I think we did the right steps in practice, qualifying and it's a shame the race didn't come our way, it was so difficult to drive the car with all the damage, the handling was awful, I couldn't brake properly, Formula E's Gen 2 car has prompted less of a focus on energy management in favor of flat out racing, but the Mexico round proved an anomaly as cars struggled to finish even after a red flag early into the race. Asked how he had found the challenge of energy management, Nasser said, as soon as you get the car badly damaged you can't brake properly, region properly, and you can't do an efficient lap within the target.